good morning students this is latif sir in this video i am continuing the chapter 10 of class 12 chemistry the topic is haloalkanes and haloiodines in the previous video on this uh, on this topic i have uh, i have discussed about the preparation and physical and chemical properties of haloalkanes or alkyl halide and now in this video i will discuss about preparation of haloiodines or aryl halide and their physical and chemical properties you know what are haloiodines aromatic halides like chlorobenzene bromobenzene these are haloiodines okay and in this video i'll discuss about the preparation and their chemical properties of haloiodines or aryl halide or aromatic halide first one is by halogenation of aromatic hydrocarbon first method of preparation of aryl halide is by halogenation of aromatic hydrocarbon aromatic hydrocarbon such as benzene toluene okay when benzene toluene these aromatic hydrocarbons react with uh, chlorine or bromine you will get aromatic halide or aryl halide like when benzene is treated with chlorine cl2 in presence of fecl3 lewis acid catalyst in dark and temperature is 310 to 320 uh, kelvin temperature you will get chlorobenzene one hydrogen atom from the benzene ring will be substituted by halogen atom this is actually substitution reaction okay if you use instead of chlorine if you use bromine br2 then you will get bromobenzene okay and bromine react with benzene in presence of febr3 catalyst so this is halogenation of aromatic hydrocarbon when aromatic hydrocarbon benzene to in this aromatic hydrocarbon reacts with chlorine or bromine in presence of fcl3 or febr3 in dark condition you will get chlorobenzene or bromobenzene plus hcl this is the major product chlorobenzene next method is by side chain halogenation by side chain halogenation side chain halogenation of aromatic halides aromatic uh, side chain means if ch3 or c2h5 this type of group is present in the benzene ring then this group is known as side chain okay so this is the side chain and by halogen halogenation by halogen uh, halogenation on side chain of benzene ring you will get aromatic halide for example for example toluene when toluene reacts with chlorine when toluene reacts with chlorine in presence of sunlight at near about 383 kelvin temperature when toluene this is toluene benzene and ch3 means toluene when toluene reacts with chlorine in presence of sunlight not in dark condition or not in presence of catalyst it is in presence of sunlight so reaction condition is different from the previous one okay if in presence of uh, lewis acid catalyst if the uh, reaction condition is dark and lewis acid catalyst is present in the reaction medium then side chain uh, substitution will be occur in the benzene ring but if sunlight is present uh, as the reaction condition then substitution will occur on the side chain of the benzene ring okay so when chlorine is treated with toluene or uh, toluene in presence of sunlight substitution will occur on the side chain <clears throat> and one hydrogen atom from the ch3 will be substituted by one chlorine atom similarly if we continue this reaction in second step <clears throat> one more cl atom will be substituted one more hydrogen atom will be substituted by one more chlorine atom and the ch2 cl will group will be converted into ch cl2 group okay and if you uh, continue this reaction in next step we will get the uh, one more hydrogen will be substituted by chlorine in presence of sunlight and we will get the, the ch cl2 group will be converted into ccl3 okay so this is one by one substitution of hydrogen by chlorine atom and the reaction condition is uh, aromatic halide and chlorine in presence of sunlight remember that if sunlight is present substitution substitution reaction will occur on the side chain but if lewis acid catalyst is present with chlorine or bromine then substitution will occur on the benzene ring directly on the benzene ring okay 
and so in this reaction first we will get benzyl chloride benzene and CH2Cl this is benzyl chloride and this is benzyl chloride and the last product is benzo trichloride so substitution on side chain next method of preparation of haloarins is from benzo di uh, benzene diazonium salt benzene diazonium salt example of benzene diazonium salt is this one benzene and n2 plus and cl minus if n2 plus and cl minus is uh, group is present in the benzene ring then it is known as benzene diazonium chloride okay that is it is benzene diazonium uh, diazonium salt okay when benzene diazonium salt this benzene diazonium salt uh, is is uh, formed when aniline is treated with nno2 and hcl when aniline aniline that is benzene and nh2 aniline is treated aniline means benzene and nh2 group is present in the benzene ring when aniline is treated with nano2 and hcl at 0 to 5 degrees celsius you will get benzene diazonium salt benzene diazonium chloride okay benzene and n2 plus and cl minus the nh2 group will be converted into n2 plus and cl minus this is benzene diazonium chloride and we can produce haloadenes or aryl halide from benzene diazonium chloride okay using different method so benzene diazonium salt is produced from aniline when aniline is treated with nno2 and hcl at 0 to 5 degree celsius or 273 to 278 kelvin temperature and you can prepare aromatic halide from this benzene diazonium salt using different method okay when benzene diazonium chloride is treated when benzene diazonium chloride or benzene diazonium salt is treated uh, with cucl and hcl we will get chlorobenzene c6 h5 cl the c2 n2 plus cl minus group will be substituted by chlorine cl will be substituted by uh, chlorine atom okay and we will get c6 h5 cl c6 h5 cl means chlorobenzene it look like this okay c6 h5 cl this is chlorobenzene okay so when benzene diazonium chloride is treated with cucl hcl you will get chlorobenzene and nitrogen gas okay and if you treat uh, the benzene diazonium chloride with cubr hbr you will get bromobenzene c6h5br and nitrogen gas okay that is an n2 plus cl minus group will be converted into b will be converted into bromine atom okay the n2 plus cl minus group will be substituted by bromine atom when cubr hbr is used and these two reaction these two reactions are known as Sandmeyer reaction using Sandmeyer reaction you can prepare using using Sandmeyer reaction you can prepare uh, chlorobenzene or bromobenzene from benzene diazonium chloride okay one more method is given preparation of chlorobenzene or bromobenzene from benzene diazonium chloride if you react benzene diazonium chloride with copper and HCl not CuCl HCl it is copper only copper and HCl then you will get then you will get chlorobenzene that is n2 plus cl minus will be substituted by chlorine atom and if you react benzene diazonium chloride with copper and hbr then you will get bromobenzene that is the n2 plus cl minus group will be substituted by bromine atom plus nitrogen gas okay so these two reactions in which uh, cu and hcl or cu and hbr are used as reagent are known as gatterman reaction okay and the previous reaction two reactions are known as Sandmeyer reaction and this is Gatterman reaction in both Sandmeyer and Gatterman reaction bo in both cases uh, products are same chlorobenzene or bromobenzene but the uh, nature of reagent is different and in, uh, in Sandmeyer reaction copper chloride or copper bromide with HCl or HBr is uh, used in Gatterman reaction copper and HCl are, or copper in HBr is used as reagent okay and to produce flu uh, fluorobenzene from diazonium salt if you want to produce fluorobenzene from diazonium salt you have to treat this benzene diazonium salt with chlorine uh, with hbf4 if you want to produce benzene diazonium salt uh, from 
if you want to produce fluorobenzene from benzene diazonium salt you have to react this benzene diazonium salt with HbF4 at 273 Kelvin temperature that is 0 degree Celsius temperature you will see that the N2 plus Cl minus group will be converted into N2 plus BF4 minus so benzene ring N2 plus BF4 minus okay so Cl minus will be substituted by BF4 minus when benzene diazonium chloride is treated with HbF4 And in next step, if you hit this uh, benzene diazonium fluoroborate, that is benzene ring and C6H5N2 plus BF4 minus, if you treat this, if you hit this product, benzene diazonium fluoroborate, then you will get fluorobenzene. The uh, N2 plus BF4 minus group will be substituted by fluorine atom. And this reaction is known as bulge Seaman reaction. Okay, so using bulk semen reaction, you can prepare fluorobenzene from benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, you can prepare fluorobenzene from benzene diazonium salt. And this is a two step process. In first step, you have to uh, react benzene diazonium chloride with HBF4. And in first step, benzene diazonium fluoroborate is formed. And when benzene diazonium fluoroborate, that is C6H5N2 plus BF4 minus, is heated, then you will get C6H5F fluorobenzene and how to obtain iodobenzene that is C6H5I from benzene diazonium chloride when benzene diazonium chloride is treated with Ki solution aqueous potassium iodide solution the N2 plus Cl minus group will be substituted by iodine atom and the side products are nitrogen and KCl okay so you can prepare fluorobenzene or chlorobenzene or bromobenzene uh, from benzene diazonium chloride using different method okay next preparation of haloalkane uh, preparation of aromatic hal halide or haloarenes next method is from phenol when phenol is treated with pcl5 you will get chlorobenzene the oh group will be substituted by chlorine atom okay now see uh, these are some these are some important method of preparation of haloarenes okay one more uh, important haloarenes it is not given here i am writing this is known as uh, hund's sticker reaction it is also given in preparation of haloalkane when silver salt of silver salt of benzoic acid when silver salt of benzoic acid c6h uh, c6h5coog this is silver salt of benzoic acid is treated with bromine in presence of CCL4 medium, okay, you will get chlorobenzene, uh, bromobenzene. It is also given in preparation of haloalkane, uh, and this reaction is known as Hund's decay reaction. This is Hund's decay reaction. When silver salt of benzoic acid is treated with bromine in presence of carbon tetrachloride, the COOAG group will be substituted by one bromine atom, okay, and this reaction is known as Hund's decay reaction right in your copy student now see physical properties of aryl halide or haloarenes physical properties of haloarenes physical properties are not important you have to re uh, read the boiling point of different haloarenes but it is not important okay so boiling point generally increases with increase in size of aryl group or halogen atoms that's why the boiling point of aromatic halide, aromatic iodide is more than aromatic bromide is more than aromatic chloride is more than aromatic fluoride okay and melting point of para isomer that is para, -chlor uh, para chlorobenzene is more than uh, melting point of orthochlorobenzene and is, which is more than metachlorobenzene okay so uh, the melting point of para isomer para isomer is greater than melting point of ortho isomer is greater than melting point of meta isomer and this point you have to remember that due to resonance in chlorobenzene the ccl bond in the ccl bond in chlorobenzene is shorter due to resonance okay and hence it dipo its dipole moment is less than that of cyclohexyl chloride so these are some physical properties which are not important important is chemical properties of aryl halide that is chemical reaction 
ओके सो केमिकल रिएक्शन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन इट इज एरोमेटिक हेलाइट्स आर लेस रिएक्टिव इन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन देर आर थ्री मेन इम्पोर्टेंट रीजन्स वाई एरोमेटिक हेलाइट्स आर लेस रिएक्टिव इन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन ऑल दो हेलो एल्किस और और एल्किल हेलाइट्स आर मोर रिएक्टिव इन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन बट हेलो एरिन्स और एराइल हेलाइट आर वेरी लेस रिएक्टिव इन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन ओके एंड रीजन्स आर गिवेन हियर एराइल हेलाइट्स आर लेस रिएक्टिव यू कैन सी देंटेंस एराइल हेलाइट और एरोमेटिक हेलाइट लाइक क्लोरोबेंजिन फ्लोरोबेंजिन ब्रोमोबेंजिन दिस एराइल हेलाइट्स आर लेस रिएक्टिव टुवर्ड्स न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन टुवर्ड्स न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन एंड देयर लो रिएक्टिविटी इज एट्रीब्यूटेड ड्यू टू द फॉलोइंग रीजन फर्स्ट वन ड्यू टू रेजोनेंस द सी सी एल बॉन्ड सी एक्स बॉन्ड इन बेंजिन रिंग ड्यू टू रेजोनेंस दिस सी एक्स बॉन्ड बिकम गेट सम डबल बॉन्ड कैरेक्टर एंड बिकम स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके सो ड्यू टू रेजोनेंस द सी एक्स बॉन्ड हैज सम पार्शियल डबल बॉन्ड कैरेक्टर and this bond will not break easily okay the due to resonance in chlorobenzene or fluorobenzene or bromobenzene the carbon carbon halogen bond gets some double bond character due to resonance and this bond will not break easily that's why chlorobenzene will, uh, chlorobenzene is less reactive is in nucleophilic substitution another reaction is stabilization of the molecule by delocalization of electrons that uh, that's why chlorobenzene or halobenzene are less reactive okay and instability of phenyl carbocation instability of the phenyl carbocation phenyl carbocation like this this is very unstable carbocation okay and due to very formation of very unstable carbocation phenyl carbocation chlorobenzene or bromobenzene do not react easily in nucleophilic substitution reaction okay however however uh, aryl halide having electron withdrawing group like no2 aryl halide having electron withdrawing group like no2 so3h if these groups are present at ortho and para position undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction easily so you uh, so if electron withdrawing group is present in the benzene ring then uh, halo aryls will react faster okay now see chlorobenzene when react with noh this react at very high temperature that is at temperature 623 kelvin and at very high pressure 300 atm pressure okay this reaction will not uh, occur uh, in normal uh, at normal condition normal temperature and pressure because chlorobenzene is less reactive in nucleophilic substitution Re this reaction will occur only at very high temperature at high pressure okay so when chlorobenzene reacts with noh in presence uh, and in presence of 300 atm pressure and temperature is 623 you will get phenol the cl will be uh, substituted by oh in second step you have to give h plus okay but in presence of no2 group no2 group in the benzene ring reactivity of the haloarenes increases okay so in presence of one no2 group at the para position then see the reaction of para nitro chlorobenzene with noh the temperature become less okay the temperature becomes 443 kelvin that means in presence of electron withdrawing group the reaction uh, become fast or reaction will proceed more easily okay and if three nitro groups are present in the benzene ring then the reaction will occur in presence of warm water only okay pressure and high temperature is not required that means the nitro group in order to group electron with doing with doing group increases the reactivity of chlorobenzene now see electrophilic substitution reaction of halobenzene or haloarenes this is the main reaction of haloarenes okay so <clears throat> halogenation reaction electrophilic substitution that is one hydrogen atom will be substituted from halo uh, halobenzene 
okay when chlorine is react with chlorobenzene in presence of fecl3 catalyst fecl3 catalyst anhydrous fecl3 you will get <coughs> para ortho and para substituted chlorobenzene one this is electrophilic substitution reaction uh, when cl2 and in presence of fecl3 reacts with chlorobenzene one electrophile cl plus will produce and this cl plus will enter into the ortho and para position of benzene ring okay that's why we will get ortho chloro para ortho chloro hey, ortho dichlorobenzene or one four dichlorobenzene which is uh, one four is para dichlorobenzene and ortho means one two dichlorobenzene which is para para uh, which is ortho okay ortho means one two one two dichlorobenzene that is uh, ortho dichlorobenzene which is minor product and para dichlorobenzene which is uh, one four dichlorobenzene which is major product okay so this substitution reaction and you know that chlorine is ortho para directing group ortho para directing group that's why we will get uh, para dichlorobenzene and ortho dichlorobenzene when chlorobenzene is treated with anhydrous fecl3 second uh, electrophilic reaction is nitration first one is halogenation second nitration na2 group will enter into the, into the benzene ring so when chlorobenzene when chlorobenzene this is chlorobenzene you know benzene c and cl is present when chlorobenzene is treated with nitrating mixture or mixed acid nano uh, hno3 concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 chlorobenzene reacts with concentrated hno3 and concentrated sulfuric acid this is known as mixed acid when chlorobenzene reacts with concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid we will get ortho chloro nitrobenzene and para chloro nitrobenzene uh, ortho chloro nitrobenzene that is one chloro nitrobenzene and para chloro nitrobenzene and the para chloro nitrobenzene is the major product okay so in <coughs> using nitration reaction you can enter no2 group in the benzene ring next is sulfonation reaction using this method this reaction sulfonation reaction you can enter so3h group to the benzene uh, into the benzene ring so3h okay so when chlorobenzene react with concentrated sulfuric acid then reagent is concentrated sulfuric acid reagent for sulfonation when chlorobenzene reacts with chlorobenzene is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid you will get ortho uh, ortho uh, chloros benzene sulf uh, ortho chlorobenzene sulfonic acid ortho chlorobenzene sulfonic acid and para chlorobenzene sulfonic acid or para chloro means four chlorobenzene sulfonic acid which is major product okay para chlorobenzene sulfonic acid so this this uh, this is sulfonation reaction using sulfonation reaction you can enter so3 h group in the benzene ring friedel cup reaction <coughs> using friedel cup reaction you can enter alkyl group in the benzene ring into the benzene ring okay for this you have to use an alkyl halide when halobenzene when chlorobenzene or fluorobenzene or bromobenzene is treated with methyl chloride or ethyl chloride or ethyl halide okay any with any halide alkyl halide one the alkyl group will enter into the ortho or para position with respect to cl okay so when chlorobenzene is treated with ch3cl in presence of anhydrous alcl3 in presence of anhydrous alcl3 you will get you will get ortho chloro or ortho chloro benzene uh, ortho chloro toluene okay or one chloro two methyl benzene it is also called one chloro two methyl benzene or you can also uh, say this is ortho chloro toluene and para chloro toluene or uh, or one chloro four methyl benzene okay so this is because cl is ortho para directing group the ch3 group will enter uh, into the ortho and para position and the reagent is ch3cl and uh, catalyst is anhydrous alcl3 okay this is fidel cap alkylation this is known as fidel cap alkylation because alkyl group will enter into the benzene ring okay now fidel cap acylation when chlorobenzene when chlorobenzene is treated, treated with acyl halide like CH3COCl acetyl chloride acyl halide RCOCl RCOCl okay acyl chloride when chloro, chlorobenzene is treated with acyl halide CH3COCl in presence of anhydrous LCL3 you will see that this group CH3CO group will enter into the benzene ring at ortho and para position 
and the para isomer will be major okay so when CH, uh, chlorobenzene is treated with acetyl chloride ch3cocl acetyl chloride you will get two chloroacetophenone and four chloroacetophenone or or ortho chloroacetophenone this is chloro and this is or acetophenones benzene being coch3 means acetophenone so ortho chloroacetophenone and para chloroacetophenone benzene being co uh, in the ortho position of cl as uh, coch3 group will enter and in para position also okay so these are electrophilic substitution reaction hydrogen atom from the benzene ring will be substituted by electrophile okay and now see reaction with metals like woods reaction it is woods fitic reaction i have already told in uh, previous video when halo alkanes when halo alkanes react with halo arenes in presence of sodium metal in presence of sodium metal in ether dry ether solvent okay to the uh, you will get aromatic hydrocarbon okay so you have to remove two nax and join this r group with benzene ring this is known as urge fitic reaction when haloalkanes that is rx reacts with haloarenes that is chlorobenzene or bromobenzene in, in presence of sodium metal in dry ether solvent you will get alkane just you have to join this r with the benzene ring and remove nax to nx this is urge fitic reaction and only fitic reaction means this is the reaction between two haloarenes reaction between two haloarenes reaction between two chlorobenzene when two chlorobenzene reacts with sodium metal in presence of dry ether such type of two benzene ring will be directly joined to form diphenyl plus nax plus two nax so when chlorobenzene or fluorobenzene or bromobenzene uh, when chlorobenzene or bromobenzene or iodobenzene uh, treated with sodium metal in dry ether solvent you will get diphenyl okay two nx will be removed from the substrate next important reaction is ullman reaction ullman reaction ullman reaction in uh, using this method you can also prepare diphenyl like fitic reaction in ullman reaction iodobenzene iodobenzene is treated with copper powder when iodobenzene is treated with copper powder two such benzene ring will be directly joined to form biphenyl or diphenyl ring okay so in uh, using ullman reaction you can also prepare diphenyl or biphenyl like fitic reaction okay so in only uh, woods reaction means reaction between two alkyl halide in presence uh, with sodium in presence of ether and woods fitic reaction means reaction between an alkyl halide and uh, reaction between an alkyl halide and aryl halide is known as woods fitic reaction in presence in presence of sodium metal and in dry ether solvent and in fitic reaction reaction between fitic reaction is reaction between two alkyl halide two aryl halide reaction between two aryl halide to give diphenyl or biphenyl and ullman in ullman reaction two uh, in ullman reaction iodobenzene reacts with copper powder to give biphenyl <coughs> So these are some chemical reactions, important chemical reaction of haloarenes. Now see halogen derivatives, the compounds of halogen that is chloroform, uh, carbon tetrachloride or, or uh, methyl chloride, chloromethane, okay, Chloro, uh, freon gases, chlorofluorocarbon, these are halogen derivatives. So you have to read about these halogen derivatives. So first type of halogen derivative is given chloroform, you know. <coughs> chloroform that is chcl3 you know what are the use of chloroform and how to prepare chloroform method of preparation of chloroform you can prepare chloroform from methane when methane is treated with chlorine gas in presence of sunlight controlled chlorination on control chlorination of methane ch4 you will get chloroform chcl3 okay and one more reaction is given using this method also you can prepare uh, chloroform and what are the ca characteristic or properties of chloroform on oxidation chloroform gives poisonous gas phosgene gas on oxidation with air chloroform uh, chloroform 
is converted into poisonous phosgen gas okay and the formula of phosgen gas is cocl2 when chloroform is react with air that is oxygen in presence of light it it converted it is converted into phosgen gas cocl2 it is poisonous gas plus hcl that's why chloroform is stored in black black uh, dark bottle okay so to avoid the oxidation of chloroform in presence of air and light uh, it is a uh, it is a the chloroform is kept in dark brown bottle uh, bottles okay it is stored in dark brown bottles and filled with one percent ethanol okay so uh, to <clears throat> uh, to stop the oxidation of chloroform by air you have to you have to store the chloroform in dark brown bottles and you have to mix some uh, one percent or ten percent and uh, here it is written one percent ethanol okay you have to use some uh, a small amount of ethanol with chloroform okay so that it will prevent the oxidation of chloroform so uh, ethanol is added to chloroform which convert harmful uh, harmful phosgen gas into diethyl carbonate okay and chloroform is widely used in the production of freon refrigerant and on nitration chloroform uh, produce insecticide substance such as chloropicrin which is also known as tear gas chloropicrin when chloroform is react with nitrous uh, nit nitric acid hno2 hno3 it will give chloropicrin cno2 ccl3 plus water it is also known as tear gas next type of halogen derivative is tri uh, is iodoform iodoform that is chi3 chi3 tri iodomethane and iodoform is prepared by iodoform reaction when acetone is react with iodine in presence of sodium hydroxide acetone ch3co ch3 this is acetone react with iodine in presence of sodium hydroxide you will get iodoform chi3 this is the main product plus sodium iodide plus sodium acetate plus water <clears throat> now see iodoform when comes in contact with organic matter it decomposes easily to free iodine and antiseptic so iodoform is used as, uh, as an antiseptic cream okay and due to its objectionable smell it has been replaced by other formulations containing iodine so iodoform is used as antiseptic next uh, compound is carbon tetrachloride ccl4 carbon tetrachloride ccl4 it is also produced from methane by uh, reaction between methane and chlorine in presence of sunlight finally you will get ccl4 carbon tetrachloride it is colorless non-flammable poisonous liquid uh, soluble in alcohol and ether and use of carbon tetrachloride it is used as it is used as solvent for it is used as solvent for fats and resin in dry cleaning okay as fire extinguisher under uh, under the name of pyrene and next compound is freon gas that is chlorofluorocarbon the chlorofluoro compounds of methane and ethane are collectively known as freons chlorofluorocarbon and also known as freon gas okay and these freon gas are usually produced for aerosol uh, re propellant refrigeration and air condition, uh, conditioning purposes and next important compound is ddt dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane ddt it is used as an insecticide and the, and the formula of ddt is given here this is the dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane i have also uh, written here the structure of ddt and it is produced when carbon when Trichloroacetal, uh, trichloroacetaldehyde that is CCL3CHO when trichloroacetaldehyde reacts with chlorobenzene in presence of concentrated H2SO4 you will get chloro, uh, di dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane this is the structure of DDT okay when chloro, uh, trichloroacetaldehyde CCL3CHO is treated with chlorobenzene in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid you will get 
DDT and this is the structure of DDT okay and DDT is act as uh, insecticide and its stability and fat solubility is great problem and it is prepared from chloral that is CCL3 CHO trichloroacetaldehyde is also known as chloral trichloroacetaldehyde and al is also known as chloral and chlorobenzene in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid I have written the reaction also here okay and last compound is perchloromethane uh, perchloroethane okay it is used for uh, in mo uh, in moth repellent and it is also known